2022 recap, the first one of the year. Oh boy. Um, well, we're starting off with something fun, the shorts and TikToks that we featured. And creating that this year has been just an awesome, awesome experience. Finding a new format to put out content in has been so awesome, so enjoyable to really go through videos that I make and find, you know, a one minute clip that was just like, this was an awesome moment. You got to see it. Um, and just doing that has been really, really special, really, really fun. And there's been a lot of great moments, especially when you come to the race playlist, which we'll get into that. Um, <coughs> later in a few weeks, but just finding those clips and getting those moments, you know, the I crashed on my own um, moment from a race playlist has just been fun to bring up multiple times. And, you know, we make those jokes. Wani and I do just, you know, playing GTA or just like in discussion, you know, we might reference the crash to my own, which is cool. But um, in general, you know, making those short form videos and creating content in a different, you know, way. You know, I make a video. I've always held the phone, get that vertical, you know, or the, the horizontal, you know, video like we're making now. But doing something vertical has been just so fun and so different. Um, something I was always like, no, don't make that. You don't want that content. Uh, record in that format it always has been that uh and to switch to that has been kind of fun uh but it has you know been a, a learning of you know what to do what not to do for content uh in a in a short form way you know obviously doing videos like this has been something i've done for 10 years we're closer to 11 years now than we are to 10 which is wild to think but i've just done you know, content in one one way and have a new form come in, whether it's editing clips or creating clips that go along with them. Like, you know, I created a separate short for this video. It's kind of recording something twice, but in a very condensed format. You know, this year I can really break it down for you guys, but you just want a short, like, what's your reaction to making shorts? Well, here's my minute reaction to that. Um, and you just want to say, obviously we expanded into making content for TikTok, which is the same content. I mean, there's no real difference. We had like f four or five videos that I did. There was like a, you know, quick 10 minute video. Uh, it was kind of fun to have like, okay, this video cannot go longer than 10 minutes. Um, where, you know, a lot of the content I make now, is just like, oh, I'm having fun playing this game. And, you know, it might go on for 30 minutes. It probably doesn't need to, but it does. But the content on TikTok would be uh, shorter. The thing is, is basically starting with this week. I think we only had a few more videos after this goes out. We're going to take a break from uploading content to TikTok. Um, not really because I want to, but I just am so frustrated with uploading to it. Uh, trying to upload to TikTok is way more frustrating than doing a video to YouTube. Video to YouTube, you press upload, you walk away, and you're good. Um, it always uploads, it's always there. You want to schedule it easy. You want to schedule something on TikTok. You have to do it on the computer, which is a little difficult when a lot of the content, basically every short goes through my phone in some capacity. If it's a gaming short, it goes into the gallery. That way I can just shrink it down to the, uh, correct landscape format. Um, because that way we can get the smaller thing that matches with the screen. It's hard to edit on your computer if you're just using, you know, I'm using this Movie Maker. Is it Movie Maker? It's iMovie. Wrong one. <laughs> iMovie. Uh, you know, just using iMovie, there's not a way that you can edit that. So I just airdrop the clips to my phone and, you know, press a few buttons and we're good. But then I just upload it to YouTube from there. Then I can just, you know, go back to my computer Whenever I want, put a title, schedule it. For TikTok, you can upload on the app. 
but you can't schedule it on the app. And a frustrating thing about TikTok is that it's not like YouTube where you can upload something and edit it and do whatever. TikTok, once you upload it, it's uploaded. It's, that's it, it's done. Uh, you can't change the title. If you want to change anything, you got to delete it. So that's frustrating. Do it in the computer. For some reason, I just continuously keep getting an upload failed on no matter what. Like I upload something and it works once. Try to upload another video, upload fail. Try again, upload fail. I have a video coming out later in the week. Um, the, the short, I was trying for 40 minutes to get it to work and it would not upload. I'm like, all right, dude, I'm done. I just closed TikTok and changed all my things and set it on it. I was just like, I'm done. Uh, maybe I'll try again, beginning of the year, but I'm I'm over trying to make it work at the moment. So there's that. But I've just really enjoyed trying to build a separate, you know, base there. Because for me, I always thought it'd be cool to have another platform to put content on. Uh, you know, another spot to kind of get a new experience, you know, something like YouTube doing it for so long, starting it when I was so young. Um, you know, again, I started YouTube videos when I was 13. Uh, and again, that may just sound normal now, but 10 years ago, saying you're making YouTube videos wasn't what it is now. If you say I make a YouTube video, everybody's like, oh, I got a YouTube channel. Or I, I upload a TikTok. Like, either one of those is a common thing. You know, I'm, I got a one of those ring light tripod things that I'm recording on here. Which, to go into a store and find something that says video making, you know, vlogging, whatever we said on it. Ten years ago, would have been impossible. Uh, you know, maybe you get like a tripod for a camera. But to have a whole specific content for or a whole specific thing is for making YouTube videos or internet content in general. 10 years ago, it wouldn't have been a thing. So uh, it's just kind of kind of wild. But I wanted to have that new experience of starting something now. Uh, and I really did enjoy it. But just uploading was so frustrating that we take a break from it. But shorts and TikToks have been a really awesome, awesome experience here in 2022 and i'm just looking forward to growing the channel more with it because this has been the third most successful year viewership wise and engagement wise and coming off of 2021 where we had the second least engaged year uh viewership wise and, you know, just uploading content and all that stuff was so down in 2021. You know, we had the lowest numbers since I started in 2012. To come back here and see something like the shorts just absolutely going wild. Every day I upload a short and it's got so many more views than I used to ever get uploading a video. Uh, you know, I'd upload a video and get two views. I hold a short and we're out here getting close to a thousand views. Uh, and it's just a really awesome experience to see that growth, that short spring to the channel. Um, and, you know, hopefully in January, they add monetization and it makes it even that much more successful. Hopefully, you know, monetizing your shorts will, you know, increase that more. Because for me, there's still a part of me that wants to do videos successfully. You know, I, I don't care to, you know, get fame out of it because it's not an interest of mine. An interest of mine is just creating content. Um, you know, creating content and being able to make a living on that would be absolutely awesome. You know, to wake up today and say, I'm gonna make a gaming video and that's your, you know, <laughs> that's your work for the day. Um, would just be so, so fun. I think a lot of times when I'm at work, I'm just like, damn, that would be so, uh, so fun right now. So that's for me, seeing the shorts do that. I'm like, there's just a little bit of hope there that that can still, uh, still pop off. But shorts this year have been awesome. Creating shorts from the race plus one has also been 
Very, very cool. We got so much more to review for 2022, though, uh, coming up in the next few weeks as we get towards the end of the year. It's kind of wild to be here on our reflective 2022 content already, but yeah, we still got a few few more weeks to go with it. Um, we're going to talk about the balance of creating content and working um, as frequently as I do. Um, so the balance in that, how that's sort of been a new experience. We're also going to talk about the return of the race bells. The first time really sitting down and recording race bells episodes since the middle of 2020. Uh, how that experience has sort of gone down this year. And again, tying that in with how the uh, boost in channel viewership has gone down. And there's one other topic in there. I forgot what it was, but I'll remember because I have it written down on my phone. But <laughs> yeah. We just got some some cool content coming out for you guys every Sunday between now and the end of the month slash year. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next one.